Fishing folks, happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Hope everyone had a great week and has some good plans for the weekend here in the United States. We have the Super Bowl. Uh, if you're not sure what that is, it's a game that should take, it's an hour long game that takes about four or five hours because of commercials and you know, after they play for five seconds, they have to stop and talk about it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy. If you're rooting for the Pats, great. If you're rooting for the other team, which I think is the Rams, great. Uh, I could care less who wins. I am really just going to watch for the uh, the commercials. Anyway, guys, before we get started with the uh, meat and potatoes of the video, do me a favor, just obliterate that subscription button. Gently boop the notification bell. And when we're done, you know, check out michaelsfishroom.com, supercichlids.com, kingandqueencichlids.com. I got to be honest, Scott over at King and Queen Cichlids did a really cool video yesterday. It's uh, it's kind of out of his style. It's more of a, um, a videography of some of his tanks, and I kind of got the hankering maybe for a big cichlid tank. Maybe. Possibly. You never know. The itch is starting. Now, I also have an itch for saltwater, but not sure I'm going to do either. Anyway, in today's video, uh, I want to talk about how to change water the easy way in a fish tank. So. I had a person uh, message me and she said she's disabled and she doesn't go out in the winter and what's an easy way to change water. And so I thought I would do a video on it. So uh, in my fish room, auto water change system. I don't change any water manually. Very rarely do I vac gravel vac and there's a ton of mom in my tanks and people say, oh, mama's bad, oh, mama's okay. Here's the deal, they're my tanks fish breed, I am breeding for a profit, mom doesn't seem to hurt. So therefore it works for me. You might not like mom, you might not, uh, it might not be successful for you, whatever it might be, it's up to you. Anyway, back to how to change water the easy way. Now a lot of people use uh, a tube, create suction, and a bucket, and then they have to carry five gallon buckets, and that's a pain in the butt. And if you're disabled, you can't do that. So. Um, another method to change water is with a pump, and that's what I do in my upstairs angel tank. I drop a pump in, run a hose to the sink or outside if it's warm, and pump the water out. And then to fill the tank, I do the opposite. I do use a five gallon bucket. I, I put water in a five gallon bucket right next to the sink, and then I run a pump into the tank. And that's what I'm gonna show you today. I'm gonna show you how that's done. Now, I went on Amazon to buy a new pump to show you guys and also because you know it's an associate link so when you click on this link down below whether you buy the, the thing you clicked on or anything else I make a couple of pennies and every penny counts so you know click on it buy lots of stuff thank you so much anyway in one of the deals the daily deals was this little pump when I say little it's little I read the description, it was 80 gallons per hour, and I did some quick math. I'm like, oh, pff, that'll clean a 10 or 20 gallon tank in no time. Not really, it won't. But we're gonna go with it, because that's what I have. And it's really easy to carry, and it was only like eight bucks. So if you have time, you know, do it. This is a uh, submersible pump, HG6 Teen, made in China. We're gonna call it a China pump. If that bothers you, I don't really give a damn. Go watch somebody else who's politically correct. I am not. It's a China pump to go with my China other pump and my China filter. Anyway, let's open it. It's a little small. I looked at the picture again after I got this in the mail and I went, could I have been that naive? But yeah, apparently I was. All right, we have a little package here with the owner's manual. I can't wait to see what this says. Owner's Matt, look. Water pump owner's manual. It's like you're buying a car. Operation instruction. Put the pump into the water, then insert the plug into the socket to power it on. And turn the switch to adjust the flow if it is adjustable water pump. Note, don't use water pump when the outer skin of power cord broken. Broken English, but t not terrible. I've seen much worse. Anyway, it's a water pump. And so in this little bag, we also have uh, two nipples, <laughs> uh, a small one and a bigger one. And so uh, I'll go over the nipples in a second. And then here's the, 
the whole thing the whole water pump it is I don't know an inch and a half by an inch and a half it is adjustable though so we have the nipple it goes into the hole boom water pump done now here's the thing about uh, water pump hoses right you need a hose to empty this and so what I always do a little trick if you will is you take the hose do you take the nipple you go to the Home Depot or the Menards or the Lowe's wherever you are whatever big box hardware store or mama pop hardware store and you walk in and say I need hose that fits this and that's what I did this happens to be and now you need the inside diameter you need to know what the inside diameter is it doesn't matter what the outside diameter is this inside diameter is half inch I knew this was half inch by looking at it because I've done this before squeeze it on boom you're done and that's that's the uh, the water pump if you will now I don't assume this is gonna last forever I'm quite frankly expecting it to last less than a year but for eight bucks and the purposes of this video it'll be fine so there's a couple things you can do with the water pump uh, it's good if you have low tanks if you don't want to use a python or can't create enough suction because the tank is low it's good for that but it's really good if you can't lift buckets and you know i'm getting old i'm fat i can't lift buckets that's not true i can't i'm just lazy but uh let me set the camera up for a tank and i'll show you how it's done all right go grab a snack and a beverage and uh let me know what your favorite super bowl food is because mine are chicken wings i love me some chicken wings uh, I'll probably do wings out on the, the Vortex, on the uh, Weber kettle. So they're, they're essentially baked wings that are better than fried wings. They're crispy and delicious. All right, fishy folks, I decided to test this in my red Russian lace grow out tank. These are the fry that I got from Super Breeder Doug. You can see uh, the tour I did. It's a two part tour of his fish room. I'll put a link up top somewhere for you to check out. Anyway, so here's the ginormous pump. You can see how big it is. It's fantastic. And here's the hose. And if you simply do this, boom. Now, you can use a wire tire for that if you want. I don't particularly care because it's gonna be underwater, so it doesn't really matter. But if you want, you can do that. Then uh, this little pump, usually the weight of the pump is enough to keep it down, but this little pump is actually really little, so. I'm just gonna sort of stick it to the glass like that or like that. And then you'd run the hose um, to a drain. And what I would do is I would take one of these little clamps, which you can buy at Home Depot or Lowe's. I'll also have a link to this in the description as well as the pump, as well as some hose to buy if you wanted to buy everything on Amazon because there's a polar vortex outside and you don't want to go outside. Um, let's move this pump down a little bit so we can see it. There we go. Now, as this pump uh, is working, you'd want to uh, clamp this to the drain for the purposes of this video. I'm going to put it in a bucket, which is what we're trying to avoid. But, it's just for the purpose of the video. All right, fishy folks, I know this is really exciting. We're gonna plug it in. Drum roll, please. And there we go. It's actually 80 gallons a minute is, is pretty good. Let's, uh, let's watch the water level. So, I mean, the water level is going down more quickly than I thought. It's got a, a pretty good output. Half inch inside diameter is, is a pretty good output. So um, I'm essentially just gonna pour this water back in the tank when I'm done. I'm just showing you how it works. Or you know what we could do? I'm gonna use the pump to put it back. That's a good idea. That'll show you how you can fill a tank up too. All right, fishy folks. Stand by, refill your beverage and snack. I'll be right back. All right, fishy folks. You can see I have my clamp and my hose. Quick piece of advice. You want the clamp to hold the hose in place but not squeeze the hose so much that water can't get through. 
Now this pump is pretty little. I don't think it has the head height to be able to pump from the ground. So I have the bucket a little higher up. Um, if you're gonna use this pump to fill your tank, you're gonna need something a little stronger, I think. So let's plug it in and see how this bad boy does. Boom, water pumping into the tank. See? So we'll fill the tank up and uh, when I come back, Actually, while we're watching this fill up, I just want to talk about head height. Head height is essentially how high the water, how high the pump can pump whatever liquid it might be, water or what have you, um, how high. So you might hear of a sump pump with a head height of 10 feet. That means if you put it in a pit in your basement and it has to, that pit is two feet deep, it has to go another eight feet before it can reach ground level. That may or may not do it. So you're gonna want something a little stronger, perhaps. I don't know if I explained that right, but I'm not that smart, so hopefully you get it. If you don't get it, just Google it. All right, it sounds like we're pumping air now. Let me look. Yes, we are. Before we go fishing, folks, just wanna show you something about this hose. I like to use clear hose, so you can see if you're sucking up fish or snails or if it's clogged, what's in there. But in this hose, there's water left over. You have to get the water out, so I just, put one hose down the drain or in a bucket and then blow all the air out. Then I hang dry the hose. I let it drip. I have a concrete floor in my basement. You could do it wherever you want, outside if it's not too cold, but I always try to hang dry it to let it air dry so you don't get that black gunk that uh, sometimes you get in your hoses. So that's the, uh, the tip for the airline. And uh, yeah, so what's next? So uh, that's it for this little pump. Not too bad, links in the description below. Easy way to change water. Um, if you're gonna buy a pump, you probably should buy something a little stronger. I'll put a link in the description for this one as well as better pumps. Hope you guys liked it. Have a great day. fishy folks and happy fry fry friday to you guys before we get started do me a favor just i i'm um, out of words okay hi fishy folks and happy fry fry friday to you hope everyone had a great week and has some good plans for the weekend we got the super bowl uh this weekend it's the basically world championship of football except it's not really football because you don't play with your feet it's a stupid sport i just spit so i'm gonna this is gonna be a blooper ah. hi fishy folks and happy fry fry friday to you hope everyone had a great week we got a big weekend here in the united states coming up it's super bowl weekend for those of you that don't know it's the world championship of american football World Championship of American Football. Hey, we made it up. Anyway, uh, guys, before we get started with the nooks and crannies of the video, do me a favor, nooks and crannies? That's, that's not right either.